YouTube, it's your boy Soup, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm on my way to go do a review on another car. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. you have to see when I get there. you see we got the Ram Rebel behind me. Then we got Scarlet sitting there looking all pretty right behind me. Going to give you guys a cold start. Well, actually it's not a cold start, but it's a semi-cold start. Ooh, yeah. She's sounding real mean and all greasy, baby. Check the drip. Yes, sir. I'll YouTube see you when I get there. Back, and I am here for my review. Oh my goodness, it's so hot outside, man. Look, y'all probably can see it. Oh my God, y'all see that dent in my head? I need a haircut. Oh my goodness, this quarantine got a brother looking real rough. True caveman. Cave man. Oh my goodness. But anyway, back to the review. Hey, I'm here to do a, a review on the 1500 Ram Eco Diesel. Hey, first time I seen this limited in a diesel. It's not, it's not bad looking. Let me show you guys. You got the 20 inch black and chrome rims. Them boys look pretty. You got the chrome trim on the side of the truck and around the windows. You got the chrome on the back side of the mirror. You got the chrome on the handles. You got the lock button right here that can lock the truck when you're walking away from it. You can also put your hand on there it unlocks it that's dope that's a dope feature this truck base base price is uh 56,000 I know y'all probably can't see it or you may be able to see it a little bit but then the total price for it is 70,000 for the whole package with everything and all the extras you're getting on here I see that they also put the bed liner inside of it as well which is a good thing because for a lot of trucks they don't do that you know you have to spend your own hard-earned money to do the same you got the park assist things on the truck, chrome tips on that boy, chrome tips on, on the muffler. You got the tow package. I mean, when they started putting them 20s on these on these trucks, man, that's, that's a lot better. Cause you know, a lot of them trucks was coming with 18s, man. And that's, that's real horrible. Also, you got the step out ladder. You know, most, most of these trucks you have to buy them on your own. But I think that's a dope feature. Look at that. It drops down like a royalty. Step up and step in. Come on down. Then it goes on up. Oh, yeah, that's dope. You got chrome on the front end of the car. You got fro tow hooks, uh, chrome tow hooks. Sorry, guys. You got chrome handles. Let's go to the inside. You got Harmon Carton uh, stereo system. They got like a little fancy stitch in there. I don't know what that means. Because there ain't really no design in it. It's just there. Cup holder. Got the mats. You got a little stitching in the back of the seat. These flip down, which I think is pretty dope. You know, they used to didn't do that. I don't know what this is for. Let's see. Oh, maybe maybe that helps it flips up, flip up, I guess. Three seats, got the Aqua Terror on the seats. You got that same little stitching around the seats. Damn, I'm sweating. Got a cup holder, two cup holders there. No cup holders in the middle. Got your little mats. Also, you got the little storage space that you can use to put ice in and put the little drinks in there if you need to. Also got your little storage space here. Slide that thing back there, you got storage space there. Got an output there, which is the plug, which is dope. Got the USB imports right there. Got a little space there, you put your little coins, and your little 50 cents, your little dollars. Cup holders with a door, two cup holders. I don't know what the flip thing is. Oh, that's probably to keep stuff on one side if you don't want it to slide back. I'd be having that problem in my truck. Also, you got two glove boxes, one here and one here. You got the 12, Point the 12 inch screen, which is a very, very dope feature. You know, when they started doing it in the Dodge Rams, it was one of the first companies that did it. You got the little handles here that I call the old shit handles when shit going bad. You grab this handle, it'll save your life. It will save your life. I know it saved mine before when I was in the accident. I grabbed that handle, I won't play no games, boy. I almost ripped that boy on off of there. Then you got your assist here, you got your 
call button there for help, I guess. How would they call that? This button right here is to open that that back window right there in the middle. It slides over. Oh, I ain't even seen those speakers up there. They got speakers up there too. So basically, you got a whole surround sound in this joint. Little mirrors. Oh, they got to do better than that. Need something bigger, man. Need to take up the whole thing, you know. Girl won't be able to see it, be able to do her makeup. They got like some type of. I don't know if I don't know if this is plastic or. No, it's wood. Some type of wood grain right here. Put some stripes around it. You got your call, your hang up button. And motor. Got a 3.0 liter. Got your air box. Let me see. I don't see no no turbos in this thing unless it's hiding somewhere. Unless that's it in there, but who really knows? I mean, for this to be a diesel truck, that is a tiny motor, but it tows up to eight, uh, what is it, eight to 10,000 pounds, I believe. That's still pretty good for a 3.0 liter truck. And you get real good, they say you get real good gas mileage in these things. So that's probably why they started to make these diesels just for that particular reason. You know, for when you put them on, when you're driving on, you know, far trips and, you know, and, and with these gas prices being all high, you know, you put that diesel in there because it burns a lot slower and <laughs> you get about almost a thousand miles to the to the tank i'm gonna close that and go back in the inside this thing a little start it's funny because this thing is so it's so quiet man look at that i like how that dashboard light up we need some gas in here boy they gonna run out of gas you got serious radio you got some type of apps on this thing up and down on your on your fan AC buttons let's play with this you got the media you got Bluetooth AM FM Sears radio hey hey turn it down now you got your you can turn your uh the reverse sensors for the front off or your front uh, sensors from, like when you want to park it'll beep at you if you're getting too close also they got it in the back where you can do the same thing let's see what that camera look like oh that boy is clear you got your heated steering wheel. You got a surround camera. Let's see what that be like. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hit that button there. You can just see the back. This thing even got a camera in the front. I didn't even know that. See the whole doozy. And they even got a camera up on the, up on the, uh, the tailgate so you can see. So you got the tailgate light, uh, tailgate camera. And then you got your Lower camera, which is crazy. I didn't even know it was two cameras back there. And then this right here, let's see what this is. Oh, I think that. Oh, I lift your truck up. I didn't even know that. Oh, oh, we going up. Oh, up. Oh. Elevator, elevator, elevator up. I didn't even know that. Dang. Here, let me put that all the way down, and we go outside and watch it go up. Thing go up. Up oh, front end going up. Back end going up. That boy sitting on some hydraulics. Front still going up. <laughs> and it is funny because when I had came over by this truck, I was like, man, this truck sitting low as hell. Why is it sitting so low? And then when I opened the, the door, you know, the steps come out. And look, it looks so much better now. So I'm like, oh, that's, that's, what, that, that's what it was. And now we know. Now we know what it was. So, now the steps got a lot more clearance instead of being so low to the ground. God, dog. Some things you just miss, man. Look at how quiet this thing is, though. This thing is so quiet. You know, nowadays, you know us guys, we don't like our cars all quiet. Look, don't even sound like nothing. You don't even hear a little thump coming out the tailpipe. You don't hear nothing. It's crazy. So, if you guys are looking for any kind of vehicles, you can come up to Chrysler. Well, no, no, I don't know if you guys can see that over there on the wall. They are good people here, family owned, and they will take care of you. So if you're looking for anything, you can get in touch with Andy, or you can get in touch with Eric, and they will take care of you, guarantee. And if they ain't got it here, if they ain't got the vehicle that you're looking for here, they will get it for you. 
within a, maybe a week, maybe a couple weeks. I don't know how it works, you know, right now with all this COVID stuff, but if it's something that you're looking for, they will be able, able to get it. So again, if you're looking for a vehicle, hit up Chrysler Winona. They will take care of you. Tell them soup sent you and they will take care of you. I ain't even sure y'all this. Right. Watch this. Pick up. Oh, look at that. Well, they coming up with stuff, man. They putting stuff into anything. Two click on the remote, just like your remote start. And that boy drop. Here, watch. I'm gonna do it again. Pick up. Oh, shit. I like that. I wish it go back up by itself, but it don't. They gonna start doing that next. Now I'm out here sitting at the high school waiting on my son to come out from his little practice. He had a little practice going on today, which is good for him. You know, what everybody know he he does uh, personal training with a, with a couple people, you know, for basketball. He's gonna be a real basketball star someday. I mean, he's a very hard worker. So this is what he does five days a week, man. He go hard, go hard, go hard. You know, weekend come around. Look at them hairs. We can't come around. He kicked back, rejuvenate. Monday through Friday, right back at it. Bam, bam, bam. Because he really ain't got much much else to do. So that's what he does. So hey, I got a few more places to stop, man. Go talk some business with some people, man. And I What's up, YouTube? The boy's back. I am now at home. Sorry, I'm just not picking back up the camera. Been out all day with the wife. I had to go get her hair done. So, you know, that take about 50 hours. You know, I got suckered in. She put me in. I was like, oh, come with me. So I'm like, all right. You know, she's like, it's going to take 30 minutes. Three hours later. <laughs> so, you know, I finally got home and had to eat dinner and stuff. But, yeah, man. You know, I stopped and talked some business at, with a couple of people, man. And it looked like it's going to happen. So stay tuned for them things, you know, in future uh, vlogs. And just be ready, man. Got some heat coming y'all way. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you ain't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Also, subscribe to my family channel, Everything Us. Link will be in the description below. Also, follow my Instagram account, SRT underscore soup 51. All right, catch y'all later. What you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to